taking part in the environmental science program, what led you to get into the course in the first place? Oh, um, that's an awesome question. Um, <clears throat> well, at, at the fundamental level, I've just always loved the outdoors and camping was kind of my go-to thing. But I think what really did it for me was the fact that I was never really a traditional student in the classroom. You know, I never took notes or like, and I wasn't a good student. Yeah. Um, so ESP kind of allowed me the opportunity to show my ability in other ways and hands-on ways in face-to-face -face relational ways that you just don't get in any other class really. So it just allowed me to thrive in an environment that I enjoyed. Being the principal of GHSS, what are your thoughts on the ESP program in the context of how it benefits our students? It's a great question. Well, um, well, number one, and first and foremost, I'll start with, um, I'm a strong believer in outdoor education. Um, it's my passion, it's my background. Um, I used that during my teacher's college um, programming um, and grew up from a very young age appreciating the outdoors. So um, what I have seen at students um, here at, at Great Highlands that have taken ESP, like yourself, um, they mature in a way that's very different than being in a regular classroom on a daily basis. Uh, they develop leadership skills and they step outside the box of what they think school's about and have a chance to explore things that they've never explored before. Um, some kids have never been in a tent camping or cooked a meal over a stove or had those chances to do that. You also learn what it means to be a part of a team. Um, you can't be on a canoe trip for an extended period of time without developing relationships with others and learning how to move through conflict, right? So there might be conflict with someone that's on that trip, um, but without moving through that and, and finding ways to navigate that, um, you couldn't succeed. here is what education did you need and take to become an ESP teacher? Okay so I did a four-year obviously university degree in kinesiology. I took a lot of outdoor ed classes which was a lot of fun. Um, did my teacher's college and I did a master's and then I came to Grey Highlands and I got the extra qualifications that you need uh, to run the program. So um, I'm a canoe instructor, I had to get my solo canoeing qualifications, my basic canoeing qualifications, my canoe tripper level two. I have all my qualifications for level three, I just need to... <laughs> Go and do the task. Yep. And then, um, so basically level three, uh, that gives you the overall ability to run an entire trip and be a guide, which oh, is awesome. Okay. Usually we have people join us to help us run our trips. Yeah. So it's something like you need 25 nights out on canoe trips, like actually traveling, not just like going to a water edge and yeah, like yeah. saying that, <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, it's 20, 500 kilometers. So I'm well over that now. Yeah, I'd yeah, say so, after good. our trips. Yeah, and then Advanced Wilderness First Aid, I have yep. a Water Supervisor qualification, like <laughs> lots of qualifications and things that you have to have the boxes checked for. In a study from 2011, the Grey Highlands Municipality, which is from the townships of Southgate uh, and Melanchthon, which is Dufferin County, um, in the south to the municipality of Meaford in the north and the townships of Chatsworth and West Grey in the west to the town of the Blue Mountains and the township of Clearview, Simcoe County in the east. Roughly 18% of the land area of Grey Highlands is located within the province of Ontario's Niagara Escarpment, a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. And this video here is a demonstration on a canoe over canoe rescue um, out in the backcountry. In this specific video, we are out in Tomogamy and in our video we have Ben present, McLeod present, and we also have Andrew Stevens and Caden Appleton in the green canoe. What's gonna be happening here is they are going to purposely flip themselves. And from there, it is means to flip the canoe back over, break an air pocket, and get your guys out of the water as quick as possible. Mm-hmm.
would you and who would you recommend the program to? From a base point, I recommend ESP to everybody. Everybody should take it. Um, you're going to learn so much about yourself and the world around you that just can't be replicated in any other situation, in my opinion. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but as for specifics, I would say if you are somebody who was, you know, grew up and didn't camp a whole lot or grew up kind of, you know, being afraid of the dark and that kind of thing and just fearing the unknown and your own potential, take ESP and try to push it because you can go as far as you want with this kind of thing. Like there's no limit to how long of a trip you can go on if you want to go on that trip kind of thing. And, yeah, you, you never know. You might like it, you might hate it, but at least you'll know, right? Because you tried and you challenged yourself. And yeah, that's who should take ESP, someone who needs to challenge themselves. What has been your favorite experience with ESP? And up to this date, your favorite year of ESP? Ooh. Favorite experience. I have a general experience. Okay. Okay. I think my favorite is when we go on these trips and it's just like sun is shining, everybody's happy, everybody's talking and you're on the lake and you're moving as an entire group. Yeah. And it's always just beautiful weather, everybody's happy and it's just like you're like gliding on water. It's just my favorite to watch everybody have fun. So your favorite year? Favorite year. <laughs> it's too hard to pick. I think every year has its highlights. That's for sure. I think what I like about each year though is that every year has something that only that group finds hilarious. It's some sort of like connection only for that year because you become a family in that year. Mm -hmm. So like last year for ESP 22, it was the misspelling of bonus. Mm -hmm. Okay, which turned out to be bones 22 on everything. And it was just like a memory that you guys all shared which made it like a highlight, like it was an inside memory that no one else is a part of, yeah. and no one else gets unless you were there that year. What opportunities did ESP open up for you, and where do you see that leading you to? Um, that is a big question. ESP really changed my fundamental outlook on life in general. Um, I'm currently in university for outdoor recreation and nature-based therapy, and I can say with fact that without ESP, I wouldn't have even heard of this program, let alone had the knowledge or drive to take it. Um, yeah, ESP opened my eyes to the potential that nature has as a therapeutic medium, um, and that's what I hope to build my career off of. Like that is what I am going to be doing for the rest of my life, I hope. Um, so yeah, ESP really, really set me down the path that I'm on and I'm gonna be forever grateful for that. Did you know? Did you know?